information from the Sasquatch Genome Project claiming there is now DNA evidence proving they say that Bigfoot is indeed no longer a myth, but rather a human hybrid living among us. What the fuck does that even mean? And five, four, three, two, one, zero, talking now. Belief can be a powerful force. No one knows that better than the people who are sure they've seen Bigfoot and in Colorado. Sometimes I still can't believe that we saw what we saw. Kate Murphy's story is anything but normal. It was a short but surreal moment in the forest. Uh, my neighbor and I decided to go for a walk in the woods. We heard a noise up in that direction, like a loud branch breaking, and we did. And then we looked, and there was this creature, and it ran down this hill, and then it disappeared. What Murphy says she saw was about seven and a half feet tall, a living, breathing, mammal-like being that's been spotted hundreds of times in and around Bailey, Colorado. What Murphy thinks she saw was Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot. It's hard to get him on video in this low light. Doesn't really want to focus. Yeah, he's not bad. camped here waiting to film Bigfoot. That's right, you heard me, Bigfoot. Animals have long been known as animals, not human. They've been described as stupid, cowardly, low beasts, eager to kill, eager to eat, eager to fornicate. 3 a.m. in the morning, we're sitting in there watching the gospel show. It's on right now. You see that opening right there? He come and stood right there. I come down on the step, like this right here. Okay. And he was standing right there. And I said, get away from here. Get. Get away. Because I thought he was going to kill my little dog. Dim-witted. Dallas Research Group released new information from the Sasquatch Genome Project claiming there is now DNA evidence proving they say that Bigfoot is indeed no longer a myth, but rather a human hybrid living among us. Well, during that announcement, this video of what researchers believe is a female Bigfoot sleeping near Crittenden in Kentucky was also released. So whether you think this video is real or not, there have been hundreds of reported sightings of the creature in our state. Eager to stampede all, but is it animals we describe or is it mankind? Tom Biscardi, known as the Bigfoot Hunter, claiming, look at this, here it is, that he has found the body that will confirm with scientific proof that Bigfoot does Trees. exist. Perhaps this Bigfoot creature can bridge the divide between us and them. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported for hundreds of years. The red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall, making a sound like a pig squealing or a woman screaming, and walking like a man but looking more like a gorilla. That's the most common description researcher and Bigfoot author Paul Bartholomew says he hears from those who say they've seen the Sasquatch. It's a global phenomenon and it's here in our own backyards.
The question today, is he real? Will we ever see him or it? Those are just some of the questions surrounding the mystery of Bigfoot, or Sasquatch as you may know it. An organization may be close to answering a lot of those questions, they think, with an event today here in North Texas. News 8's Marcus Moore was at that event and has their answer to the skeptic. Well, good afternoon. Along with the sightings that have been reported across the country, they also say that there have been numerous sightings right here in Texas, mainly on the eastern part of the state along the Louisiana border. These uh, folks who held this news conference today are part of the Sasquatch Genome Project, and their effort is to prove that Sasquatch is real. And during a news conference today, they played video uh, clips of what they claim is Sasquatch. The first clip showed what they said was a juvenile human-like species walking in the woods. Another clip showed an older female believed to be over six feet in height. The third clip, this one shot during the day they said was Sasquatch caught sleeping. They say that that video was shot in 2005 in Kentucky. As you know, there has been a lot of controversy and a lot of doubt about the existence of Sasquatch, and including a number of experts who have dismissed a number of these claims. We've all had experiences that have changed our lives. I mean, literally shook the foundations of what we believe in. And that came through Adrian's uh, visual sightings and, and Richard's visual sightings. And me and my family, we came across a large footprint in the, in, in the Colorado mountains. And, and so things like that shook your reality, shake your world, and you say, well, there's got to be more to this subject than just a myth. They hope that that will uh, help prove to everyone out there that uh, Sasquatch is indeed real. And their work is not done. They, they say they continue to collect evidence and also uh, gather videos. Some of that video will be used in the documentary that will be released at some later date. Reporting from Dallas, Marcus Moore, Channel 8 News. Is it a creature with many names? Well, maybe so. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, and most notably known to people in Falk, Arkansas as the Falk Monster. Got that right. For <laughs> years, many of you may have questioned the ape-like humanoid's existence, <laughs> asking yourselves, is Bigfoot really out there? Fox 16 <laughs> Suzanne Bruner explores just that in a special report. And Suzanne, this actually stems from a news story you did back in November, right? That's definitely right. Here's a screenshot of a story I covered back in November showing the possible creature in the deer woods of Ida, north of Heber Springs. Big Bigfoot researchers brought this to my attention saying this could be Bigfoot. What do you think? Well, I took this image to people in Falk where many tell me Bigfoot has been haunting them for years. In the heart of southwest Arkansas lies Falk, a small town with a big legend. Almost everyone you bump into has seen as far as the size, at least the cone shape of the head, the black eyes, or heard. Gone. And that's what it sounds. About the Falk monster. It was probably right in here or so by a roll of hay. Sightings of the ape-like creature around Falk date back to 1908. Eyewitnesses describe it six to nine feet tall, up to 400 pounds with brownish red or black hair and unusually long arms. Most sightings in the dense woods and along waters that lead to Boggy Creek. This is where William Lunsford would have his first encounter with the hairy beast nearly 40 years ago. And he began to stand up and he lifted this branch and he kept standing and he kept standing and he kept standing. And, and I immediately just freeze. A 17-year-old William was fishing when he spotted Bigfoot 45 yards away, squatting by a tree. I can't hardly breathe. There's tears that are streaming down my face, and I've actually wet my pants. The encounter, now a continuous video loop. The emotion from that April day, still fresh. I can see everything just, just as it happened. I can feel everything just as it happened. It's been so many years ago, but it's so affected my life. He's not alone. Many people in Falk have had similar encounters. Their stories of Bigfoot spread quickly across the U.S. Soon, directors translated those stories on film and in books. Eventually, the legendary beast made a name of its own here in Falk. You can find movie posters, books, newspaper clippings, and memorabilia inside the town's museum. Another story recorded was Heather Owens's. Right here, uh, I slammed on my brakes, and it was probably from me to you. In 2011, Heather was driving down Williams Road in the dead of the night. In an open field behind a bale of hay, Heather says Bigfoot stood up. All this was smashed down along with the fence. Whether it's a smashed down fence. You can actually see part of the finger, part of the hand. Or a hand and footprint cast. I'm skeptic. Wayne Combs. Seeing is believing, I guess. Isn't buying it. I don't think I can believe in I don't see as God. The 78-year-old born and raised in Falk has hunted and fished Boggy Creek for years without finding a trace. He must be a magician or he can fly because where's all the tracks? Even if there were footprints, another skeptic says it's not enough. If we could have just one strand of hair, one piece of blood, one drop of blood. Even skeletal proof. You know, we found bones from dinosaurs from thousands of years ago, but we can't find 
One set of bones from Bigfoot. He don't like cameras. I haven't found a picture yet. I've got cameras myself. No one in Falk has been able to capture a photo of the ape-like humanoid. There are only sketches of the beast from memory. You're not going to capture one. Oh, they're extremely fast. However, Fox 16 may have uncovered something. A Bigfoot researcher took this screenshot image of a possible Bigfoot sighted in my news story in November. What do you think? Um, that is very much the body shape of the Bigfoot that I saw. Yeah, possibly. The possibility is there. And then there's this, a baby Bigfoot attached to the arm. Do you kind of see the outline sure of can. it? I sure can. What do you think about that? Uh, I think that's pretty doggone close. Those who have seen and believe are now avid researchers, regularly scouting the woods and the creek, tracking prints and hoping to prove its existence. The Falk monster reportedly roamed this former soybean field to feed, leaving behind a number of tracks. This right here is the last remaining footprint cast made back in 1971. It measures at about 14 inches. Many now garner a collection, a piece of the puzzle. You can see there was one of the toes, one of the toes right there. They hope can eventually solve this peculiar and legendary mystery. I feel like I've truly seen, quote, the eighth wonder of the world. I've seen something that does exist that's not supposed to exist. For now, its existence will continue to lie in secrecy among the murky woods and waters in Falk. Perhaps it's gentle ways can teach us, remind us that peace and harmony are necessary if mankind is to survive. Hey, oh, oh, what? Oh, huh? oh fuck! What the fuck? information from the Sasquatch Genome Project claiming there is now DNA evidence proving they say that Bigfoot is indeed no longer a myth but rather a human hybrid living among us. What the fuck does that even mean? Five, four, three, two, one, zero, talking now. Belief can be a powerful force. No one knows that better than the people who are sure they've seen Bigfoot and in Colorado. Sometimes I still can't believe that we saw what we saw. Kate Murphy's story is anything but normal. It was a short but surreal moment in the forest. Uh, my neighbor and I decided to go for a walk in the woods. We heard a noise up in that direction, like a loud branch breaking, and we did. And then we looked. And there was this creature, and it ran down this hill, and then it disappeared. What Murphy says she saw was about seven and a half feet tall, a living, breathing, mammal-like being that's been spotted hundreds of times in and around Bailey, Colorado. What Murphy thinks she saw was Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot. It's hard to get him on video in this low light. Doesn't really want to focus. Yeah, he's not bad. No. 